Shalom Luka, everyone, or Shalama and Shalom. Shalama and Shalom. And Shalom Luka. And some of y'all Hebrew Israelites out there, sh Shalom. <laughs> yeah, um, today concept, I'm here to talk about talk about Yeshua and uh, that he's uh, a king of Judah. That he is the ruler of the land of Judah. And he is uh, between Ah and Tau. And when you look at these Aramaic letters, when I put these Aramaic letters on the screen, I'm letting you know that from Ah to Tau, they call it Alif and Tau or Tu. Supposed to be you said Tu. Means, means, it must be a U there, no W. Must be tall, but it's okay. I guess it's it depends how y'all uh, easy ways to for y'all to pronounce or either either easy way to other people with mouth. The old words we use we use the word we use the word ah and tall. Means alpha omega. That's on my alpha meaning alpha omega in the alphabet and numbers is used to use, but they call it. Alpha Omega. Now, now we are right here to talk about Yeshua. I, Shalom Luka. I'm here to talk about Yeshua. Now, Yeshua was born in Bethlehem. And they did written the words about him. And they did talk about him. Yahshua was born in Bethlehem. He never called himself as Christian. And also he was not known as Christ. But don't get me wrong. It's okay. The Christian today, they used to wear Christ. So I'm not here to make no confusion with this. I don't know why I can't say Messiah, you know, but when the Christians kick in, they call him the Messiah. Well, they um, let me correct that. They call him Christ. Forgive me. They, they explain him as Christ. That's when the Christian use it and that's where the Roman use it. Now, when the Roman use that, the Roman that's how Romans start started doing back then with the Caesar Augusta Caesar Augusta start where he telling people to convert Christianity. Yahshua was not not known as another religion. He was not known as no Islam. He was not known as no Christian. Only Caesar Augusta could put that title there. As you know, it's Esau put the title there. Esau is the main one used those title to make it call the word religion today but Yahshua was not known as any other religion he was known as Judah and you could say yes he's the teacher he's a rabbi and yes he is a rabbi a rabbi and Yahshua is, is the main one that teach and he's the real Judah he never called himself as as Yehushua with the E, with the Y E, no. He calls himself, his name is Yahshua. At Aramaic, we use the word Yahshua. Now, we call him Yahshua. The reason why we call him Yahshua, because it's always had to be, it's had to be pronouncing with the Y A to it, with the H. A lot of people spell different because they are really too much don't want you to know the deep information. Yes. Now, I'm going to tell you this. From the Old Testament, they are known as the 12 tribes. And all the 12 tribes is in the Word in the Bible or every, every one, one of them in the Bible. And they all tell you, they all tell you about who's in Judah. 
and who started who started the words with all that and who started with the 12 tribes. Now we got all of them in 12 tribes in the words that's already been speaking and spoken, already been spoken on the on the Old Testament. And when we head to the New Testament, that's when the Yahshua step in and his name is Yahshua. And Yahshua, Yahshua was there in the Old Testament. And y'all ain't knew about that, he was there. Now, you can't say false, because it's true. Now, who say that Caesar Augusta is a uh, 12 tribes of Judah? No, they never been known as 12 tribes. No. Let's correct that. And who started that religion? Esau. And Esau is the main one that's made Islam and Christians. He made those titles. That's why he made an organization called uh, Convert. Now, Hebrew Israelites Hebrew, Israelites, Judah. They used the word Jew to let you know that still remains color person. Jewish means Edomite. And also, and also to let you know that Yahshua let everyone know he's a Judah. He never said he was Christian. He never said he was an Islam. And also, he never say himself say Jewish. He's a Jew. He's a Judah. He's a Hebrew. But the main words he used to let everyone, the whole world know that he is Judah. And yes, he is Judah. Mashika. Mashaka means Messiah in Aramaic. Mashaka means Messiah. Or you could say Messiah. Yeah. I ain't say the word say Messiah. Now the word Messiah is just a, a Roman easy word pronounced. Messiah. Where you where you spell it, it would have been Messiah. It would have been spelled like you say, well, M A S S, with the I and the Y A H. And the way they do, they don't put the Y there. They rather put the put the the M E S S I A H. Hmm. You saw very smart. But let's be honest. Esau has never been known as the 12 tribes of Judah. I could say, yes, he's the brother of, of Jacob and uh, Abraham and all the family. But he never been known as no tribe. He was known as the clan. The Hebrew and the Israelites are known as the tribe. Because if you look at the tribe, you look at all the tribe. If you look at the Canaan, you see that tribe. And it's still known as part of the 12 tribes. Now, the point is what I'm talking for this, that Yahshua, known as Judah, sees Augusta, the Esau, family are known as clan Jewish clan Yahshua are known as Judah one of the whole 12 tribes he known as Hebrew the Israelites Jew G J E W sometimes they put an S not Jewish, no. But by respective, I understand. By respective, I understand that that hey, you know, uh, you know, Messiah and Judeum use it for, you know, to say hey, you know, to let you know to call Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If it's easy for you to pronounce that, 
It's fine with me. It's cool with me. But the real truth, the real truth in, in real Aramaic is Yahshua. We call him Yahshua because with his name. In Aramaic, we call him Yahshua. Or Yasha. And um Yahshua is the Alpha Omega. He is the A and the Tau. And I speak in Aramaic. We don't use Greek words. The Greek words they use al or tau or they use aleph and tau <laughs> or ta. No. We don't use no Roman words. That was Greek words, Roman words. Forgive me, Romans. To be honest the truth, they're all European. Period. But um, I'm not here to be arrogant. This is real educated wise and educated research. That Yahshua is a Judah. Caesar Augusta is the clan. He was not known as none of the twelve tribes. Even Esau was not known as none of the twelve tribe. Ishmael is part of the twelve tribe. Jacob, Abraham, Isaac are part of the twelve tribe. Even Dan, and Sarah, Samuel, and Sarah, and all the prophets are part of the twelve tribes. But not Esau. Esau is just an Edomite. Esau is not known as no Torah tribe a Judah. Esau is a family to Caesar Augusta, to all the Edomites clans. Yes. And Yahshua is a Judah. And Caesar Augusta don't like it for him to be Judah. He rather call him a Christian or call him the different names to, to not to claim him as he is Judah because he's a color person. He's a Hebrew. Yahshua is Judah and yes, he's a color, color person. He is a color. Where Hebrew means a person of color and he is a Hebrew. But he also let the whole world know he is Judah. And he's the only one that casts out demons. Esau can't do it. He'll connect with Lucifer. And he could do it. Well. And that's all I want to say to let the whole world know. And this is a real Aramaic. Real ancient Aramaic. Yahshua never been known as Christian. Yahshua has never been known as Islam. And Yahshua has never been known as no Hindu. And don't get it wrong. Not even the Chinese name to call Tu or Yin Yang. No. Yahshua known as Judah. Now, I give, I give respect, I'm not here to judge, but I'm not here to judge. I give respect to Christians and all you all different religion today. But just to be honesty of the truth, that Yahshua never been called himself as Christian or Islam. Yahshua is a Judah. And he, yes, he's born in Bethlehem. And also, he been traveled to Nazareth. And, and all the way to all over the place. And he speak Aramaic. 
And also to let you know that Israel is right on the Palestine area. If you look at the map, what do you see? Right on the map. Right on the land. And the word Canaan, that the Rome changed it to Africa. But the real title of that land, that promised land, is Canaan. The one with the word Egypt in there, the land Egypt in there, yes. And Israel is right on the Palestine area. Hey, let's be honest. We can't be lacking. The truth is right in front of your face. Israel will be having that little private spot, yes, to say Israel, but you still right on the Palestine. Now all that fighting and this and that, hey, you know what? Let's be honest, y'all might as well get along to be brothers, cause you know, <laughs> y'all fighting each other right in the same land. And that's the truth. And Yahshua is a colored person. Yahshua is a Hebrew. And Yahshua is to Judah. And my ended to you, Esau is an Edomite, the one that calls so-called Caucasian today, all white. They are not the 12 tribe. They've never been part of the 12 tribe. They've never been known as Judah. They are known as clan. In the word say itself, it say clan. They ain't say no other word say, hey, he's part of Judah. No, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh don't twist it. They are clan. Esau is clan. Sees Augusta, clan. Why he's a clan? Because he's the one start that Christian and Islam and Hindu with all these different names. He start that word religion. Yahshua never did start no religion. And that's all I want to say. Amen. And Shalom Aluka, Shalama, Shalom, 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 and thank you. Yatabena. And I'll do.